How to respond yes. when the dealer says, "Yeah, we're going to do four scenarios. Four? You told me three. Four. Have them respond when they throw in a fourth scenario. <laughs> Here's the deal. My dad spent 40 years. He was a salesperson, sales manager, general manager. A lot of tenant. Everything. Yeah, everything. Yeah, car washer. You've heard it all at the dealership. I some prep. Nowadays, we've got over 100,000 people that are a part of the YA community. Every single day, we help dozens of folks negotiate yes. their car deals. Join yes. YA.com. Take a yes. look at that. Here are the ways to respond yes. when the dealer says. Okay. Ready for number one? Um, I, I, I'll try. I'll be the dealer. You be you. Okay. Well, I'm always me. Well, I can't help you, customer. Uh, the price is the price. Really? That really you're going to stick to the price is the price? We all know. You and I, we both know. Yes, you probably had to overpay because of the shortage of used cars today. I get that. And, and we all know that you've marked them up higher than they've ever been marked up before because, well, dealerships are making more money than they've ever made before selling fewer cars. I get, I get the attitude that the price is the price. I really do. And, and I know you, you could say to me, you know, Ray, if you pass, there's somebody right behind you that's going to pay what we're asking for. But here's the difference. I'm a young guy. I've got a family. I, I've got kids that are going to need cars. And if you were to take care of me, if you were to scratch my back a little bit, well, then I'll be able to scratch your back in the future with my kids buying cars here and me buying additional cars here. And I'll tell you what else I can do for you. I, just to be clear, this role play voice and also like the intense eye. Can you look at that with just a touch? Just a touch. Because you're like, you're, like, I'll give you the car. Yeah. I'll give you the car for free at this point. No, I don't want you to give me the car. <laughs> that for voice. Free. What is this voice? I love it. All right, I'll scratch my bag. You scratch. Yeah. 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 yeah I, you know, I'll, I'll make this promise to you. Okay. You save me a few hundred dollars. And, and in the future, I'll always service my car here. So that'll give your service department the opportunity to rake me over the coals so that you can make that money back. Because it's more than just selling the car. It's servicing the car. And I could be worth hundreds of thousands of dollars to you over my lifetime. So it's the same train of thought when you get from the back from the dealer. You know, you ask for the out-the-door price, the OTD price, you yeah. get your worksheet, and they say, you know, this is the price is the price. Or you come back and you say, well, you know, this wasn't, this didn't show up online, but it's showing up here. Well, no, the price is the price, or it's the final price. Yeah. What you're coming back with, especially if you're local, is, well, I'm going to be a customer for life. I'm yeah. Gonna, got it. Totally got it. And it's yeah. the same one if they do say, no, it's the final price, the, the final price. Yeah. I want to ask you, though. Yes. One thing you didn't say in there yeah. would be, do you come back with a counter offer? Do you say, well, let's take 500 more off? Do we take 1,000 off? Or do you, you just could. say, work the deal? Yeah, do you take, but, but do you the say, guy take said, the well, doc the price, is, the, price yeah. is the price. I get that the price is the price. But let's say 60 days from now, the vehicle hasn't sold and there hasn't been any real interest in the vehicle. What do you think the price might be then? You think the used car manager might be looking to reduce the asking price of the car by $500 or $1,000 just to try and sell it? More than likely. So why don't we just do that now? Yeah. No, I totally get it. Yeah. Ready? Number yeah. two. Yes. We can't. I'm not, I'm the, you're, you're kill, you, you would be the worst <laughs> customer. You would get the best price. I doubt it's it. It's the eyes, man. They're piercing. I've never heard that before. <laughs> okay, ready? Number two. Yes. We can't hold the car for you. I know you want an inspection, but yeah. we can't hold the car for you. You know, that's just a choice you're making. You could. You've decided that you're not going to. You've decided that you don't want to give me ample time to make sure that the vehicle's everything that you said it is. Now, if you stand behind the vehicle and I were to give you a deposit and it takes, I don't know, 24 to 48 hours, what's the big deal? If I don't end up taking it and you keep telling me how, how wonderful business is at the moment, that if I don't buy it, there's a guy coming in 10 minutes from now yeah. that's going to buy it. Okay, well, let them come in two days from now and buy it. it. It's no skin off your nose to give me the opportunity to make sure that I'm doing my due diligence and we're making sure that the vehicle is everything that you proclaim it to be. Yeah, we're hearing this one more and more frequently in the used car market where – Can I share? Yeah. Should let me, I should Let me I, make one point, though. Okay. Rougher and rougher condition yes. vehicles in the used car market because there's a lack of inventory. But, yes, share the story. We have a cousin who's buying a used car, and I said, at the very least, you need to get a pre-purchase inspection done. Join YA.com slash inspection. Yeah, slash off. Lemon Squad nope. slash whatever I you want. I don't slash, slash the price, damn it. <laughs> but anyway, you know, every dealer that he went to, well, we don't have the time for that. Well – my response to him was, then that's not the dealer for you. If, 
if the dealer is not willing to work with you to a certain degree yeah. uh, so that you can do your due diligence, then that's not the dealer you want to do business with. That's not the one you're rewarding. To be clear, reward. to be clear, when you buy a used car, you buy it as is. It's all And when you. you buy it from a traditional dealership, you're not getting the Carvana 7-day or the, the CarMax 30-day love your – no. So no. please get pre-purchase inspections and when they say – we can't hold the car for yeah. you, or we won't take a deposit, or we can't let you do an inspection. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Rewind third, yeah. you know, a minute and re yeah. listen to Walk. what you just said. That too. Yeah. All right. Yes. Ready for the third yeah, one? Yeah, sure. Sorry, Ray. Yeah. Due to market conditions, we have to charge a twenty-five hundred dollar uh, market adjustment. It's it's what's going on in the market right now. No, I get that. You know, and and, and that's great. That's that, you, you can ask anything you want. You can make it a hundred thousand. It doesn't really matter. All you're doing is asking for it. Okay, and, and and I'll ask for something less. Would that be all right? How about, I know you want $2,500 in a market adjustment because there's a shortage of cars. I get it. I get it. I understand where you're coming from. You, I, <laughs> I, oops, I, 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 yeah. I love your yeah. acting skills. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, but I really do. I, 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 you know, I understand the need to, to maximize profits when things are short in short supply. I, I really do get that. But it's so short-sighted as to what I as a customer might be able to bring to you down, down the road in the future, how much I might actually mean to you. You know, I've, I've heard numbers that every time you sell a car to a customer, that's worth about a half a million dollars to the dealership over time. So let me ask you a question if I can. Are you willing to to lose a half a million dollars over twenty five hundred? Yeah, would broken. You I'm broken again. Yeah. Broken. Would you invest twenty five hundred dollars to make a half a million? And if your answer is no, you wouldn't. Well, then obviously I'm in the wrong place. Now this is another reason why getting multiple quotes from multiple dealerships is also very, very, very important because yeah. you'll then have leverage in that conversation. Great resource, the YAA Community Dealership Reviews. Just go on there, search for Hyundai, search for Subaru. You will find dealerships that are selling at MSRP Absolutely. Or, below or below MSRP. MSRP. They're so, out there. So you contact just have to work them. At it. And, and help. I mean, yeah. we're putting the list together for you. Yeah. The community, not us, we're not doing a damn thing. The community is the one putting the list together. Yes. So take a look at that list, get one that's below that. When you go con contact your local dealership yeah. and they say, Hey, yeah. market adjustment. We we can't. Our hands are tied. No, that not. response yeah. plus. Yeah. Well, what would would you beat this offer? Yeah. That'll get you a lower price. Yeah, it will. All right. Okay. So you can still negotiate in 2022. You just yeah. have to be prepared to you know know how to respond when the yes. dealer says yes. Let us know in the comments down below what other hear what other sayings you're hearing often at the dealership. Maybe we'll do a follow on episode to this one. How's that sound, pops? I don't know. I'm available for that. Piercing. Yes, of course. Of course piercing. we could do that. They're piercing. They're blue eyes. The piercing blue eyes of death. <laughs> <laughs>